Uh, so I'm here at Macworld Expo, and I'm sitting next to... Uh, my name's Neil Barham. I'm the founder and CEO of Cinegenics, and we have a product called Filmic Pro, uh, which we're very yeah. proud of, and we okay. consider uh, the best video camera on the market. There's so this is an app, a video app, uh, an app that enhances the video component or video recording for the iPhone. Absolutely. Okay. It's a dedicated video camera okay. app. It only shoots video. Yeah, and it's called Filmic Pro. It's called Filmic Pro, available on the App Store. How much does it cost? Just uh, $2.99. That's... Um, okay. Right. So, so some of the things it does that uh, the standard iPhone doesn't already do. Okay. Well, let's see. I see I'm in Super 35 map, which is actually one thing that the standard iPhone doesn't do, but I want to back out of that and show you our main functionality. So I'm going to go in, turn off the Super 35 map, come back out to our... I wish uh, I knew what the Super 35 map was, but... Uh, uh, well, it's basically like a 2.35 aspect ratio, the same oh, okay. cinemascope thing that Lawrence of Arabia uh, and Big screen. Epic... Right, right, right. right. Okay. There you go. Uh, okay, so I have a focus exposure yeah. here, and I have a reticle exposure here. And then on the control bar, you can see I can lock or unlock all of these items. Okay, so, so you can slide those around and put it just where you want to Right, right, focus. right. Okay. So we'll go up there. We can yeah. lock our exposure. Then when we come down, we see it's too hot. Okay. We unlock our exposure, and then we can lock it again. So ideally, what you want to do in a scene is exposure compensate. Find the middle range uh -huh. between the hottest spots and the darkest darks, mm -hmm. and then that's going to give you the most latitude in your uh, image. So, and a, there are a handful of interesting tricks you can do by either locking exposure or focus, but letting the other one uh, randomly sample. So this gives you lots of flexibility and lots of options that the iPhone doesn't Absolutely, yeah. Provide. It, it, the, the resolution of the iPhone yes. 4, and especially the iPhone 4S, yeah. is really top-notch. I mean, fantastic yeah. 1080p resolution. The rolling scan shutter of the iPhone is still its limitation from being a true, true high-end tool. What does rolling scan shutter mean? It's, so, the, the phone scans what's on the sensor, and the image that comes through the lens hits the sen sensor. And so, occasionally you'll see this sort of like little ah. sea wavy wobble in the video image, good. and that's an artifact of the rolling and skin. And you correct that for that? Uh, no. We, we wish that we could correct that, and we uh, routinely hope for Apple to continually improve that. Oh, the rolling scan shutter of the uh, 4S yeah. is significantly better than the 4, so they're making yeah. continual improvements. But it's still not. You're saying that's the one one of the weaker spots that, that differentiates an iPhone from a, from a higher-end camcorder. Right, right, right. So the difference okay. between spending $3,000 and spending $200 yeah. plus our $3 app yeah. is the rolling scan. So you got a whole bunch of other cool features. Just run through them real quickly. Here. Okay, yeah, let's go into the settings menu. So front and back camera, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, we've got lockable orientations if you have uh, specific hardware tripods okay. that only... Uh, uh, let you orient the camera one way. We've got four selectable resolutions. You can normally select the resolution on an iPhone, huh? No, on a 4S you can't shoot in it's 720p, you can only shoot in 1080p. Wow. So if you shoot in 720p, which is yeah. plenty fine high yeah, definition sure. resolution for web streaming yeah. purposes, Facebook, YouTube, uh, where most people yeah. end up with their videos, you'll get 2.5 times as much storage space as sure. you would in shooting 1080p. And then if you're out in the desert about to run out ah. of uh, footage and you want to shoot in standard Way definition, okay, right, 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 you can shoot for hours and All right, hours so and I hours. can see you've got a lot of uh, options that the iPhone doesn't, doesn't right, right, right. provide. Right, right, right. This is our favorite. We shoot in anywhere from 1 to 30 frames a second. Okay. But uh, coming from the film side of things, we're... You we like shoot 90, okay. right? We shoot 24 frames a second okay. for just about everything. And the iPhone ha iPhone normally has its adaptive frame rate. Well, it normally tries to shoot at 30 frames a second yeah. all the time, but it will lower the frame rate in low light situations yeah. to get the exposure that's not right. Good. And that's how we first learned that the camera yeah. was going to be capable of shooting at 24 frames uh -huh. a second. And for the uh, rest of the world, uh, TV yeah. broadcasting, that's 25 frames a second. Yeah. We offer that as well. Wow. So for our friends overseas, that's yeah. pretty useful. 
Um, so they're going to be shooting uh, Saturday Night Live and this uh, with this app pretty soon. Huh? Forget Hopefully, the, uh, we'd forget like the to Canon see, Seven D. Right, right, right. We'd <laughs> want to see somebody make a film for like Sundance uh -huh. or. Uh, and what you do is you've got this this rig here that's made not by somebody by somebody else that uh, is a holder and, and adds a adds a telephoto lens. Yeah, yeah. So you add something like this and you take your iPhone and you add your three ninety nine. Right, and what's key here is the thirty five millimeter flip. Uh -huh. Because any image that comes through a 35 millimeter lens gets inverted, ah, so it's okay. going to end up on the center, ah, okay. upside down, unless you have our app and one of our competitors yeah, offers like, the same uh, feature. Almost right? DSLR, yeah, I yeah, believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I think those But are yours the guys. works better, you say? You're yeah, saying? actually, it does work better, truly, okay. because almost DSLR flips the image, but it also yeah. reverses it right to left, where yeah, we yeah. have the right to left orientation. So can I still use this app it? for uh, still photos too, right? You can't know it's a you dedicated video. Okay, totally video dedicated camera. video. Okay, and, so I, and there's there's thousands yeah, of yeah, good I photo understand. apps out there. All right, great. Um, so anything else you want to show? Yeah, audio meter. We think okay. that's pretty important. Okay. Want to make sure that you're getting your subject uh, just right, not okay. too soft, and that you're not maxing out. Super 35. We talked about yeah. framing guides. If you're a true okay, high end film, okay. right, right, right. This will let you actually shoot in 16.9, yeah, yeah. but will inform your uh, nice. composition so your editor can okay. match it to footage that you've already got. And the last thing, we've got color bars and slates. Yeah. High-end filmmakers and know what to do with that. Most other people should just ignore it. Um, but then this is a big to-do. We offer four separate encoding qualities. Uh, the standard uh, Apple for the 4S is 24 frames a second. We can bump that up to our standard would be 32 megabits yeah. a second, or you can even go as high as 48 megabits a second. Wow. That's going to be especially useful if you're doing color grading for your image afterwards and you want I the see. most data so information this is, this possible. So something the pros use. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. We, we're trying to win the approval of the pros uh -huh. and then come out with a yeah, mid-range yeah, yeah. product for uh -huh. everybody else. Well, good luck. It looks like a it looks like a great value for for the price. And, oh, uh, absolutely, absolutely. And Considering what, all these other pieces cost a couple yeah, hundred yeah, bucks, and okay. we're a key component of yeah, the yeah. equation, and only three bucks. And uh, again, know. the name of the uh, app. Uh, the, the app's Filmic Pro. We also have a freemium version called Filmic Plus mm -hmm. that you're welcome to try yeah. out, and you okay. can actually buy four in-app purchases Wonderful. and configure it any way that you all right, want. Great. All right, well, good luck, and thanks uh, for the demo. Thank you so much. Okay. You have a great day. Okay.